Across the Western world, pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel protesters are taking over university campuses and city streets. And across the Western world, anti-Semitic sentiment continues to grow. According to the annual Anti-Semitism Worldwide Report, published by Tel Aviv University and the Anti-Defamation League, 2023 saw an increase of dozens of percentage points in the number of anti-Semitic incidents in Western countries in comparison to the year before, the number growing long before the Gaza war broke out in October. There should be no confusion. The year is not 1938, nor is it 1933. But if current trends continue, then the curtain may well descend on the ability to lead Jewish lives in the West, to attend the synagogue, to frequent the Jewish cultural center, to learn Hebrew, to wear a Star of David, to wave the Israeli flag. October 7 did not start the fire. It helped spread a fire that was already burning. The report concludes that the effort to fight anti-Semitism on a global scale has failed. One of our biggest challenges is how to unite in fighting anti-Semitism without making it the one definer of Jewish identity in our times. The report focuses on last year, but the scale and intensity of the pro-Palestinian protests happening on campuses in the past months have made many Jewish students feel unsafe, and governments express worry about the growing anti-Semitic sentiment on European and American soil. The culture on this campus, predating October 7th, has allowed anti-Semitism to flourish. Contrary to the conventional wisdom, post-October 7th incidents of anti-Semitism were also led from the far right in America. The fringes in the United States are encroaching on the political center from both the left and the right, making combating anti-Semitism much trickier. Most of the chants at university campuses are not simply protesting the war in Gaza, but expressly pro-Palestinian and anti-Israel. This dangerous rhetoric that is spewed in the encampment um, calls for the death of all Zionists. Um, and something that I do think is really incredibly important to mention is that anti-Zionism is most, defi most definitely anti-Semitism. In response to this trend, several groups are now planning rallies in the coming days to show that there should be room for empathy for both Palestinians and Israelis affected by the war.